Hey guys, Phil here with Houston Kiteboarding or AmericanKiteboarding.com. Just got the Fireball system in from Cabrina. The Fireball is their new um, bar and lines attachment system here. Uh, so this is on a trim light bar. It's a new way to interface with your uh, spreader bar. So I'm gonna kinda take you through the different parts and pieces and how it works. Um, I was able to demo this or try this about a month ago. So we've, we've been on it for about a month. Um, kind of kind of trying it out and uh, learned a lot of things about it so out of the bag or out of the box it's gonna come with the uh, the barn line set here which is a trim light bar um, fixed this is the fixed trim light with a uh, the leash the leash is pretty cool it's just a short leash has a release system here that works pretty slick it's just a pin in system per usual um, easy to reload and uh, you know a bit of webbing and then an attachment carabiner um, it's also going to come with a replacement for the D power line it's a bungee D power line so you can depower it and then the bungee kind of keeps the slack out of your way while you're riding um, so that's what's going to come in the package the spreader bar does not come in the fireball package this is separate this spreader bar is a hundred dollars um, and can interface with 99% of the harnesses on the market. So you see here on the buckle, you have all these little um, slots and pieces. This piece can come out. So if you're gonna mount it on a Dekine harness, you'd use these two. If you're gonna mount it on an Ion harness, you'd use this one and maybe this one for the extra down strap. If you're gonna mount it on a ride engine, you'd use just one of these after taking the pieces off. Um, all of this stuff. And then it has, uh, you, you know, extra extra loops for uh, for s installing some of the harnesses. I think this would actually work on the ride engine here. We're going to make a separate video installing this on a bunch of harnesses so you guys can see um, exactly how to do it. So we'll do a Dekine, we'll do an Ion, we'll do a ride engine, that kind of stuff. So the whole idea with the, um, the spreader bar here, the fireball system, is to have uh, a ball insert that allows greater freedom of movement and gets rid of the lever that is your spreader bar hook. So the ride engine guys did this by installing a line with a chicken loop. Well, you know, which worked great. With this system, it's a little more static for newer riders. And then you have, you have the ability to fly your kite um, right above you and not have any leverage on that spreader bar, which is absolutely amazing. We're very excited about it for um, teaching kite surfing lessons. So here the kite is almost straight up above us um, and there's no leverage on this. With a normal bar, it'd be doing this. It'd be, it'd be articulating up with that chicken loop. Um, okay, so a little bit about the, the fireball system. Obviously you have the, the fireball at the end here, which is what interfaces with the spreader bar. Above that, you're gonna have your release. This is a standard Cabrina leash or a standard Cabrina release, um, pull away, it's gonna release this piece. One of my initial questions was, um, to, to Pete and the guys, is, you know, are you gonna have replacements of these? Are they gonna lose these? Well, because this piece hooks in and actually stays uh, in there, it shouldn't come out. Um, this should stay on you when you release. Um, should be in the optimal term there. I, I don't know, I haven't had a ton of time on this, but it seems to me like it will stay in pretty well. Um, as long as your bungee doesn't come off on this and you don't forget to actually use the retention clip, right? Um, okay, so to reload this, you can see when you hit the release, the um, release uh, cover here catches on this little tiny edge. I'm just gonna stick this back in, put the uh, uh, pin back up, and then just kick this off that lip and then it reloads, it's a great system. The leash attachment is right here. And the leash line runs up through the center of all this stuff to one of the front lines and that's what's gonna you know, cause your kite to flag out and depower, which is great. Just, that's our favorite system is the one line depower. Um, okay, so there's a swivel, just like on prior years, below the bar here. Um, the trim light system derives its name from this tiny trim block here, right? 
which is what you depower with above the bar. Above that, you have this little piece of hardware. One of the things they changed for this year is they made this little hat metal on the trim light bar, which is freaking awesome. Um, in years past, this was plastic. It would deform and it'd get stuck. This sucker's not gonna deform, right? Because it's metal on metal, which is great. This little um, roundabout pulley here is, uh, is really w well built and light, so there's not a lot of weight up top, so it doesn't get twisted and all that in the air. Um, overall, I'm really, I'm really happy with this bar. Um, so the trim light with Fireball, I think is selling for $469 for the bar, which is a great price, for, especially for a Cabrina product. You're gonna have to get a spreader bar if you're gonna use the Fireball system. Spreader bars run $99, and like I said, it can be installed on any uh, of your current harnesses, which is great, which will save you some coin. Um, you know, so my personal opinion of this is it's a great system for the guys who want a clean and simple to use attachment piece um, that aren't unhooking. So ion, uh, you know, board short harnesses, maybe the B2 or the nitro shorts, perfect for this. The, uh, the guys wearing seat harnesses, the guys wearing waist harnesses that maybe don't unhook, free ride guys who just want to go out and cruise, Maybe they're not ready for the ride engine, right? Because the ride, the ride engine's a little advanced, right? Maybe uh, maybe this is better. It's definitely better for new guys, uh, right? We'll start teaching on this this year. And the main reason we're gonna choose to teach on it is this right here. All of our students can fly that kite up at neutral with the pole straight up without articulating that bar, which on seat harnesses makes it so much more comfortable. Um, so we have these in the shop. Um, we have a ton of fireball uh, bars, trim light bars, as well as uh, the spreader bars here. So give us a call if you want to get some or if you have questions. The number here is 281-508-6485. Um, we also just got the new Apollo kites in, which are uh, the highest aspect inflatable kite on the market. We're going to make another video for this with some riding footage. Um, that is going to change the industry as far as uh, foiling kites, right? You don't need to buy a foil kite, get an Apollo. We got those as well. Um, this is Phil signing off for AmericanKiteBoarding.com. We'll see you guys on the water. Have a great week.